Put the muscle to the hustle to sell with your hog. People trying to pull you down, still don't go flop. If you no be money, don't put me in a group chat. Muting all your BS, your opinions all be trash. Skinny boy with macho moves, they say who's that? Do the things I like, fuck your bitch, get the cash. City, safe a dollar pounds, all I need is quacha. You want to count my money for me, add them in your quarter. Life is a game of chess, so my chin no quacka. Oh, get on and Kwame, I want to ride you like Okada. Hi, this is One and One with E. Datsin. My name is Irama, and today I'm here with Kwame Yesu. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I be happy every day, no watch nobody and do your thing. If I happy every day, forget what they say and go your way. If I happy every day, if I happy every day, if I happy every day, if I happy every day. Where did it come from? Um, actually, it didn't come from anywhere. I just decided um, to use the name Yesu because mm. I feel like I need to put God first in everything I do. Yeah, so basically, I feel like I'm the son of God. So yeah, mm. nothing spiritual or nothing serious about Yesu. Yeah. I see. So, um, are you in school? What's the story behind Kwame Yesu? Um, okay, actually, I just completed from tech. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. What did Thank you study? You. Um, logistics and supply chain management. Before. So, you want, to, <laughs> you want to maintain the career, like the music career on the side, as against whatever you're doing in logistics, yes? Um, I wouldn't say I'll put the music on the side. I'd say I'll put the logistics on the on side. On the side instead. Yeah. Oh. And make the music like a full time something. Yeah, like a full time there. job sort yeah. of. I see. So um, you started off with photography. You, I think a lot of people know you as a model, someone who's really good at photos and every and yeah. everything. So when did the whole music, the whole music scene come into play? Um, say so actually, I used to rap when I was in JHS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then SHS as well. And moreover, um, when I was in SHS, I used to dance too. So people actually knew me for dancing when I was in SHS. And then when I was about to complete, I switched to rap. Mm -hmm. So that was where it all started. And then when I completed SHS, it's kind of dicey, you know. Like mm -hmm. when I completed SHS, I started this whole um, photography and the modeling thing. Yeah. So then again, I put the rap aside. And then paid and then more attention, paid more attention to, to um, photography and the modeling. And then I think last four years, I decided to go in to come back to rap and mm -hmm. do music like a full time. Because I felt like, okay, I got a brand now. Like, I mean, my pictures are nice and exactly. all that. And that's also like a major thing when you want to do music. Yeah. And I felt like, yo. I've been able to accomplish something in photography and then also taking pictures and looking good. So then, then again, I continued, like I switched back to making music mm -hmm. with it. So I felt like it was a plus for me. Yeah, like since you had already built your brand, brand and then now you're paying more attention to the music. The music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, um, even with the music, you have mentioned a lot of rap and freestyling and stuff, but yeah. you, you do have that side of you that sings also. Isn't that how you started or how you became more popular in society? <laughs> I actually, I'd say I used to do like rap rap mm -hmm. until I met Kwamina MP. Okay. Yeah, so I used to do rap rap. And, when, and then when I started working with him, like going to his studio, he was like, okay, I think you should try and sing as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, like you'd be good at that. So that was when I started singing. And then it wasn't like singing, singing, mm -hmm. but just putting melodies together and then like making it soft a little for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do sound good singing. If you had to choose between um, rap and then the singing, which is less than the rap, yes, yeah. which would you go for? Which is easier to do? Mm, that's a little bit difficult, but I'll say rap. Yeah, like um, I find more confidence when I'm rapping. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like and I'm then, confident when I'm rapping. Oh, yeah. right. So with your. Um, 
your markets, the markets that you usually sing to or rap to, yeah. do they accept you more when you rap or accept you more when you sing? Actually, they accept my style, like the way I blend it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. or less like Drake. Yeah. See, Drake is like a full-time rapper, but sometimes he sings. He blends the music yeah. with the singing inside. So they accept me for like, not rap rap, not sing sing, like for both, like when I blend it. Yeah. What genre are you very comfortable in hip hop? Yeah, hip hop. Hip hop, yeah. definitely. And and also, I would say, I think I um, considered my environment, mm -hmm. and then realized that, yo, let's be honest. In Ghana, rap is not really taking our musicians or our mm -hmm. artists that to the top, to the top, yeah. top, 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 like where they want to be or like where we want to be. Because considering like um, the Nigerians, whereby the singing is more or less like part of them now, mm -hmm. the Afrobeats, mm -hmm. Afro and then they are yeah. getting to the top of that. And then we, the Ghanaians, we don't really appreciate the rap like that. Exactly. I mean, they are like hip hop heads in Ghana, but they don't really appreciate the rap like that. So I decided to, well, let me blend it. Because I've seen where people go with rap, rap, rap. Like yeah. we all know from them i don't want to mention it but yeah <laughs> where they got and i don't want to be stuck at that point okay. so yeah you let me just blend in yeah. so whichever audience accepts any of them or either way it's still in one it's let's still, say one track yeah, so it's still yeah, yeah. that makes sense where do you pick your inspiration from be it mod okay let's start with modeling where mm -hmm. do you pick your inspiration from um i'd say okay for me I always keep my eyes wide open, like I surf on Instagram a couple of times, like the inspiration is from everywhere, from my friends to like bigger people, and I'll say my friend like, um, she don't mention his name, you kill you. <laughs> <laughs> from Jude, yeah, from Jude, Jude, yeah, tribe of God, yeah. I tap a little bit of inspiration from his side, mm -hmm. and I surf on Instagram a lot. Like, I can waste, like, all my bundle on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's how, like... So, I basically get my inspiration from my environment, like, what I see mm -hmm. and all that. And then I'm always ready to, to, to listen to new stuff and to see new things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, it's like I'm trying... Like, I just want to see things. Yeah. What was the last project you worked on? Okay, the last song that I dropped was Free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I think, um, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, it wasn't a plan. It wasn't planned, but um, after I graduated, mm -hmm. I felt like, yeah, let me just put something out to show appreciation. Yeah. Yeah, so I dropped that. I heard so. your, um, your song with... Um, Kirani Ayat. Yeah. Do you feel like you receive a lot of good responses from people, seeing that this time around it's not just you, you. who's doing the music, it's you featuring Kirani. somebody else out there who's a bit more popular? Okay, actually, most of, when, you, when you, you listen to most of my songs, like say when you go to my SoundCloud page, mm -hmm. you see that there are a lot of features yeah, yeah. on there. Yeah, it's not like I can't do I can't complete the song, but I feel like, yo, I'm, I'm a young artist, I'm new to the industry, I'm coming up, so yeah. it's best to like tap in fan bases, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like let people see that, yo, when I do a song with this guy, I'm good on it, when I do a song with this guy, I'm yeah. good on it, so like people get to experience different parts of me. Mm -hmm. Because when you listen to this, the, the one I did with um, Kirani Ayat, mm -hmm. you could see that it's like a trap song. Yes, yeah, trap. And Ayat's style is different. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. But I was able to blend with him and then sync with him and do that exactly. song. And then when you listen to the one with Twitch, mm -hmm. I had to sing on there. Yeah. So it's like we are experiencing different parts of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how I like to do it. So let's let's look at these three songs. So you have the one with Kwamina, yeah, which is more 
hip lifey, right? Yeah. Yes, you have the one with Twitch, which is more, R&B. say, R and B sort yeah. of, and then you have the one with Ayat, yeah. which is trap. trap yeah. So you've you've been from being so curious, you've been able to fit yourself into, into each and every anyone. other genre yeah. that you yeah. can find yeah. yourself. Yeah. That's nice. If yeah. I was a musician, I'm not sure. I'll be <laughs> So I'll just go with one, one singing, singing and yeah. just do it like that. So throughout this year, 2019, we're in August now. How much have you been able to put out? Um, I've, I think I've been able to put out um, three songs. Three songs. Yeah. Do you feel like school was a restriction? Mm, let's say a little bit. Because mm-hmm. it was like divided attention. Yeah. 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 So now that you are putting all force inside, yeah. it will be better. Yeah, and the best part is, is like I'm working on my uh, my next um, EP. So it's like when I completed, I was so ready for it. Now that you've mentioned the EP, what what should we be expecting? Is there a title yet? Are you going to tell us something, or you're going um, to hold back till sometime when you're ready to say um, something about it? She wants to deceive me, uh, but you, I'll ask my manager first. Well, ask him here. Yeah. Can you say something <laughs> about this? <laughs> A few moments later. This particular EP is like, it's a, it's a full experimental EP. And trust me, I really put myself into this EP. Like, mm-hmm. I've really invested in it. Being a time, being a money, being a... Um, the interest? The interest, yeah. yeah. I really like what I'm working on right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I would like, and I would love everybody, you, everybody to, support. To, to support it and then yeah. jam with it. So what, what side of you should we expect more from that? I mean, so far, as far as you've gotten, what parts of you should we expect more? Hip life, Afro beats, um, trap? Okay, you should expect like hip hop. Hip hop more. Right. Hip hop more, hip hop and trap more. Mm. Yeah, and I've got, I think, some Caribbean feels on it, and That's then nice. an Afrobeat. I like Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you? Do, is it just you, or you have features on them as well? I have features on them. Mm. I have features on them. It. When, when, when are you looking at um, releasing it before the year ends? When August, September, October? No, I'm not dropping it this year. I'm dropping it like, okay, this is an exclusive. She still wants me to give more info on my EP, <laughs> so I'll say I'm dropping it in January. All right. Yeah, January 2020. So we should look at it. In, we should look forward to it in 2020. Yeah, but I'm dropping singles off it. From now till December. Yeah. We'll be looking forward to yeah. it. When he does release a single, you see it here. First I mean, sing- you will hear it. First single is with um, Kofi Mole. Ooh. Yeah, and, and this. I see. Yeah. So that's yours, right? Yeah, that's my song. It's, it's on the him. tape. Mm, but you're yeah. just putting it out before. Yeah, before. I'm dropping two songs off the tape. Before, before the release, the release nice. of the whole We'll be tape. looking forward to it. I'll be waiting for like an yeah. invitation to your listening session. Sure, sure. And then from there, everybody here will get to know about Kwame, Kwame Isu. Isu. <laughs> So thank you so much for passing through. It's been Thanks. an honor having you. Thank you, Pedla. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jude. Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this has been one on one with Idatsin. I was here with Kwame Yesu, and we've had a wonderful time. I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh wait, wait, wait! I want to say something uh-huh. first. I want to say something. Say it. Feel free. Before she signs out, uh, shouts to all the boys. You know. The boys, the club. boys club. Shouts to the boys club. Yeah. Shouts to the Rebel Tribe, Manche Chills, MC Ray, Amano Black, Menek, Jude. Don't cut it. Shouts to Babel. Shouts to Lad, shouts to everybody, shouts to Kwame and MP and all the boys. Shouts to my manager, Pedler. Bless her. Yes, guys. So I did say this has been one on one with Edad Sin. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. I've had a great time with Kwame Yesu, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Oh, okay.